Hi, my name is Colton Campbell, and I'm here to propose to you the idea of an expansion project through Corner Post Christian Camp. Corner Post is located on the southbound side of Interstate 45 in Rice, Texas. Christy Evans is the CEO and founder of this camp. The camp is a Christian-based organization that holds summer camps and retreats for primarily youth groups, however, does events for people of all ages. It's currently on a 15-acre plot and backs up to a small lake and is known primarily for its recreational activities such as fishing, kayaking, ultimate frisbee, gaga ball, and even archery. One of the main problems the camp currently is having is that it doesn't have very well accommodations for its campers. They are currently camping out of tents. They don't have washrooms. The campers have no access to electricity or any type of modern accommodations people enjoy having. The the proposal is to add a community center with an industrial grade kitchen. There will be washrooms on both sides of the building followed by cabins. And the idea of the community building is to have a place for the campers to gather and do their worships and Bible studies as well as eat lunch and just have a place throughout the day to kind of relax and cool off from the hot Texas summer elements. The two cabins that are going to be located on each side are going to be screened in with electricity and a ceiling fan. The cabins will have bunk beds in them and the electricity will allow campers to be able to charge their phones and just have a more comfortable experience while at the camp. <clears throat> to go along with this, the camp, I propose that the camp also installs a driveway and a parking lot for easier access. This is the layout that I propose to the camp. Christie's home is located right here on the east side. I propose that you put the community building on the west side of the property directly across from our house and have a cabin on the north side of the community building and the south side. I also propose that we put the driveway on the southbound side of the property running towards the west with the parking lot in the southwest corner. The parking lot will extend up the west side to make an easier access point for the cabins and the community building. The lake runs in the northwest corner here and this is the layout of the new camp that I'm proposing. The pricing of all this is going to be about $15,000 per cabin. Part of the benefit of not only having screened in walls and only running electricity in these cabins is the fact that it keeps the price building cheaper while it also keeps the traditional camping style that the <clears throat> camp originally had. The community building is going to be around $45,000 to $55,000 due to the fact that it's going to be fully plumbed, fully electrical, and <clears throat> it's going to be quite a bit bigger building, seeing that it's going to be built to hold both people from the male and female cabins. It will also have the washrooms attached to them, and <clears throat> this. The rock and we're going to order rock for the driveway and that's going to be around $7,200. I propose that the <clears throat> camp goes about funding this project through fundraising, donations, and their 501 status. Um, fund 
fundraising, I would propose that they hire a fundraising committee to help them find more successful uh, companies and such to go through. Their 50123 status means that they're a nonprofit organization. Being part of a nonprofit organization allows them to apply for grants and things of that nature that other businesses can't apply for. They will also be accepting donations. They're going to be <clears throat> having people that donate a thousand dollars or greater sending them some kind of plaque and having some kind of recognition to them through the camp. The benefits of this expansion are going to be that they're going to have more space to hold campers. They're going to expand the size of their cabins, which traditionally were tents, and make them into actual rooms where they can fit bunk beds and things of that nature. The <clears throat> one of the other main things is more campers means more revenue for the camp, which in turn also means that they can expand faster. And this will also allow them to become uh, maybe a statewide or even a nationally, nationally known youth Christian camp.